Look, it's at such an exciting time. You know, I think New Zealand is coming of age and there's, you know, so many strong initiatives. Um, we've got commitment from key stakeholders, from government, from local councils. The industry is really, really looking forward to the coming years. You know, if we look at um, Wellington, their new convention centre, looking um, at around 216, 217, 1,500 delegates. Um, Christchurch looking at opening 217. Um, soon they'll announce their, the new operator and developer. You know, they're looking at 2,000 delegates. Um, Queenstown has a new offering and a couple of stages there, but the initial stage would be around 900 delegates. So it's only going to add value to um, the build that we already have had. You know, if you go back to legacies like Rugby World Cup, which happened in New Zealand in 2011, the, what that's done for the country, for the business event sector, has been immense. And we always talk about the importance of these sorts of events and the legacies that they do leave um, and the value that they offer. You know, cities get reverb they have investment, developers will come in and add a new product and that's why we've um, had the recognition and the industry has seen you know, the potential growth um, that's on the books. For Auckland, you know, we're so excited, uh, the New Zealand International Convention Centre, um, right now Sky City is working with the government to work through the, through the design and development stages. In a few weeks' time, they'll launch a, a new website which will have all the information, and, and we're hopeful that later this year they'll lodge consent. So we're looking at three and a half thousand delegates. So it builds New Zealand's reputation. It, it actually says we're serious for the sector and we're serious in this space. It actually means our stakeholders are looking at return on investment. It's just a fantastic opportunity for us. A lot of the potential will obviously come out of the east coast of Australia, but Asia is, is really going to go through the roof with this, isn't it? I think for us, you know, we, we already know, we're offshore at the moment um, up at trade shows, so IMEX Frankfurt, IMEX America, CIBTM in Asia, um, Australia is our key market. What it does is it gives us the opportunity, the spillage, because we don't have the capacity now, even though if you take Auckland presently can do between 1,500 and 2,300, um, there's a lot of spillage of what we're not getting. So we're going to meet that demand through Australia, but the opportunities out of Australia and more and more people are realising the accessibility to New Zealand um, with the increased flights um, just adds value. And we all know that it's not just about the conflicts coming, it's about those other tangibles or intangible things. The, the associations can grow their membership, um, the knowledge transfer that happens um, in, in different regions. Um, for our sectors and our sector development, so our food and beverage or our health, our ICT digital, all those things that we want to grow and the opportunity for that. New Zealand does have a lot of experts in different fields, so it, this is fantastic. And we've got direct flights now, um, you know, there are over 18 uh, international airlines that come into Auckland and then that feeds through to the rest of New Zealand. So we are connected and um, there's a lot of those associations that are excited about we're talking to now to identify in years to come opportunities. And uh, going forward, I mean obviously the Queenstown one has, has come out this week, the Auckland one's not far off. Wellington's only just been spoken about, so it, it's, it's going from a couple of convention centres into a, a real a plethora, really, isn't it? I, I think that's really, you know, we look, we look over the years. You go back to 1992 when we first um, had research done about getting a convention centre for New Zealand, and now we're going to have a lot of different offerings, but it's still, it's still good. It's good for New Zealand. It's good for, again, it's building that international reputation. Um, the different levels of sizes and offerings, and that's all complex. We all know that um, if we take our close, you know, key market Australia, you know, conventions rotate and they're not always going to go back to the same state or the same city. So it actually gives New Zealand stronger opportunity because of the rotation opportunity. But with the different sizes, it means that we're all um, working at different levels in different spaces. So on behalf of the industry, what's your, uh, what's your key sales pitch to Aussies right now? Oh, you, you, you cannot not consider New Zealand. Um, our, our offering is, you know, New Zealand is a bucket list destination. 
uh, whether it's an incentive or a conference. And we, we can say now across the whole of the different regions and destinations, our offering is world class. Um, we can offer bespoke uh, programs and we have bespoke venues, be it hotel, convention centres, um, you know, unique events, uh, event centres. Our offering is, the diversity and the proximity is there. The, that's the wonderful thing about New Zealand. And once you're here, the offering and what you can get to, it's all so close. And the range of products available uh, are unique. And of course the people, you know, the people make it. New Zealand is known for its hospitality, known for its welcoming. Our culture, um, it all, it all, you know, event organisers have lots of destinations to choose from. And what they want is they want to come and make sure that their event, whatever it is, is the best that it can be. Well, New Zealand offers such a range and that diversity that, it, you know, the time is now and, it, and we're never better positioned than we are now for the future to meet the market demands.